slope between two coordinate points on a graph. Find the slope between the points 3, negative 4 and 1, 6. In this lesson, we will learn about finding the slope between two coordinate points and there are five steps to do that. We'll go over those steps very slow and we'll give you more practice later on. Step one, you have to label the points that are given to you as x sub 1, y sub 1 for the first point and the second point to be x2 and y sub 2. That's the first step, labeling. The second one is to subtract the y's, y2 minus y1. So in this case, it would be 6 minus negative 4. The third step is to subtract the x's. So 1 minus 3, it would be negative 2. And the fourth step is to divide step 2 over step 3. Whatever you found, the difference of the y divided by the difference of the x. And that's my fourth step. So we're going to divide the green one 10 over negative 2. And that will give me step 5, simplify if possible. Usually you get a number you can divide or you can simplify the fraction to get um, simplified fraction as an answer. In this case, the negative would stay up. So the answer is negative 5. And this is the slope of the line between those two points. So the steps are label, subtract, subtract, divide and simplify if possible. Let's see the second example. So you've got the points. We said the first step is to label. So x1, y1, x2, y2. And then we're going to subtract the y's. So subtract the y's and subtract the x's and divide by 2. And this is basically the formula of the slope, the famous formula of the slope y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We're just going to follow this formula. So it's going to be negative 1 minus 2. This is the y difference over 0 minus 5 and this is the x difference. If you do the math, negative 1 minus 2, they both have the same sign, so you're going to add them or combine them and keep the negative. 0 minus 5 is negative 5. Now, negative of a negative is positive, so the answer is 3 over 5. You cannot simplify further, and that's your answer. So your answer is positive 3 over 5. So it's pretty simple. Uh, the third, we'll discuss uh, the two special cases when you divide. The first one is called the zero slope. So if you got two points that have the same y value, if you subtract the y value on the numerator of the, of the slope formula, 4 minus 4, it would be 0. So 4 minus 4 would be 0. And 0 divided by any number, in this case negative 5, is 0. So this is all uh, always called the zero slope when the y's are equal. Now you can guess the second um, case is when the x's are the same. So when you divide by 0 basically. You cannot divide by 0. So in this case you will have 5 minus negative 3 which is 8 over 1 minus 1 which is 0. And you cannot divide by 0. It's different than this case. 0 divided by any number is 0 but a number divided by 0 is infinity or undefined. So in this case, you'll get a slope that is undefined. Later on, we'll discuss that this line is a uh, undefined, which is vertical, and this zero slope horizontal line. And this is coming uh, later on. Thank you for watching the video. Try to practice on the last one. Uh, you can pause the video and practice on this question. Okay, hopefully you paused. Now, if you do the math right and simplify uh, the, the answer, your answer should be negative one-fourth. Hopefully you got the answer right. If not, watch again and work out the problems as you see them. Thanks for watching.